Okay, I think we're live. I think it's working. So we'll give it another minute so women can join. <sighs> and I'm really excited for this evening's transmission. I feel so blessed and honored to be where I am right now. So right now I'm in the Golan Heights in Northern Israel, uh, right on the border with Jordan, looking over the Sea of Galilee in, um, <sighs> hi Georgia, welcome. Thank you for being here, sister. I'm so happy. So I'm just gonna open my phone. I see that we're working, but maybe I'll be able to see the comments better if I open my phone as well. Um, and so get a cup of tea. I have here chamomile, get a cup of tea and maybe an, a journal um, and a notebook. We're not going to do any journaling exercises, but um, if you would want to take notes, because there's going to be some really good juicy content and material and just making an intention to stay present for these next 20, um, this next hour. Okay, so if you are here and tuning in, say hello. If you're on the replay, comment or replay. It helps me to know who's here and to connect with your energies and tap into your fields. <sighs> really setting this time aside with intention and commitment that I know that all of you have so many things going on and you probably also all have businesses that are calling you in so many different directions. So let's make an intention here to really set this time aside and to put all of those demands just aside for a moment, knowing that we will be exactly where we need to be at all times. And when we need something, it will come to us. So let's take a moment and ground. So if you're here, welcome. Go ahead and type hello live on the comments. If you're here live and if you're on the replay, you can comment replay. And let's get started. I'm so excited to be here. And I am, yeah, I'm just in love with working with my business as a multidimensional template. And I love teaching women, light workers, healers, this, these powers, because all of a sudden it takes entrepreneurship and turns it into this thing that is so divinely guided and supported and so needed and necessary on this planet right now. And while, you know, many of us are in our businesses and wanting to succeed and make money and so many forces outside of us, maybe even including our parents or our husbands or loved ones are telling us that it's impossible or that we're just dreaming or making us feel that, you know, we're not spending our time well enough. It's like we get to tap into this divine energy that is bigger than all of that, that is moving through us, that is wanting to come down here on the planet and using our business as a temple gives us a template to work with those energies and feel fully supported and guided as we bring our missions down to this planet. Okay, so that's really why we're here and why we're doing this is to feel empowered, supported, guided, like we know what we're doing, not because a mentor told us, not because, you know, some teacher told us what we're doing, but because we are guided and supported to tap into the five dimension, the 5D template of our business. Okay, so that's what this is. Hi, Leanna. So go ahead and close your eyes. Make yourself comfortable. 
<sighs> rolling your hips around, rolling your womb, breathing down into your pelvis, breathing down into your belly and into your low back, into your shoulders, into your chest. moving your neck around, your head around, feeling the serpent of your spine. Breathing is to start to really clear the energetics of your spine and of your body. You can shake a little bit too if you want to, to just clear out the day, empty your head. Shake out your hands if you like. <sighs> And then finding a nice long spine and settling into stillness when you're ready. We're going to exhale all of our air out. <sighs> empty, empty, empty your air. <sighs> and then breathe down into your roots and into your belly. Breathing into your legs, your hips, your belly, your feet, wiggling your toes. And exhale, growing roots down into the earth, settling your body into those roots, secure and stable. And then inhale again into your pelvis, your legs, your womb, your ovaries, your low back. And then exhale, feel your energy going down, down, growing roots down into the earth. And inhale, sending a grounding cord down into the heart of mother earth through all the layers of earth. And exhale, really surrendering into the love of the great mother, of Gaia, calling in Gaia to be with us, raising our consciousness so that we can tap into the growth and abundance consciousness of Gaia, the unlimited love and life that she offers us. Just as you breathe, feel yourself breathing with the planet and every breath, it's like a pulse of life sends growth into the jungles and growth into the jungle of your own being. Your inner vines and trees and inner animals coming alive, activated, feeling Gaia's streams and rivers inside of you. And then we're going to breathe and settle into the womb space. So coming, bringing the energy up into the womb. And as you breathe, just imagining your womb being showered with roses, with rose petals. Inviting in the energy of Mary Magdalene to be with your womb, to bless this birthplace of creation that is within you. And this is the birthplace of anything in your business. So anytime that we are unsure about what we want to create or unsure about which idea that we have, because so many of us have so many ideas, we can ask the oracle of the womb. But we're not going to do that now just to tap into the dark, black, feminine emptiness of the womb. And then bringing your energy up to your solar plexus, feeling your inner sun in contrast with the inner black hole, the inner sun that's shining your light that allows you to receive from the earth and from the womb and then shine that light outward to the world. And the energy of Hathor. And then bringing your awareness up to your heart, breathing into the heart. Let's take a nice deep breath into the belly and into the heart. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, and sip a little bit more air in. Hold your breath and expand your heart. Expand your lungs. And exhale, relax and soften and empty. And just settling into your own ooey gooey 
lovey-dovey heart center. Inviting in Mother Mary's energy to be here with us, to remind us of our self-love, to remind us how beautiful we are, how amazing we are, how precious we are. And just meditate for a moment on your own preciousness. Just as Mother Mary opens her arms to hug you and, and embrace you in her love, that you can do that for yourself here. Feeling your own preciousness, that you are the beating heart of your business temple. And the more you love yourself, the more you focus and meditate on the preciousness of your being, and the more amplified the light is in the center of your business temple. The more attractive it is to your soulmate clients, to your milk and honey money. And then bringing your attention up to your throat. And as we are here also with the spirit of the whales, the whale nation in my business temple, because I'm inviting you into my business temple right now. That's where you are, as well as being in your own. And so the whale nation makes sounds to call and to clear and to open and to access the deep memories of the universe. Thank you to the whales for activating our voice, for activating our I am presence and our deep, deep remembrance of who we are. And then bringing your awareness up to your third eye, we're gonna open up our visions for our beautiful business, for our abundance, for our sacred success, for the ability to stay clear and focused on connecting to bliss and source and bringing through our gifts to this planet in a way that feels so good for us. And then finally, lifting the crown of your head up towards the sky, calling in the presence of your higher self and any other angels and guides that wanna be with you today. And as you call in the presence of your higher self, feel all of your cells being showered with the golden light of your higher self and feeling your higher self calling for this commitment to staying focused and present for this hour that we're together until 8 p.m. to receive the upgrades the codes that you are needing right now, that you may receive whatever it is that will help you the most to stay activated in your bliss and your joy and in your sharing of your soul gifts on this planet. And we'll take together three more deep breaths. So breathing in with your nose and out with your mouth. <sighs> In with your nose. <sighs> One more breath, breathing in life and love and clarity and connection. <sighs> and whenever you're ready, making any movements that you like, 
to come back into this space, to be present here in the temple. All right, my loves, it's so good to be together and it's so good to see so many of you sisters here with me. And um, I just wanna start by saying, presencing everyone who's here live and everyone who's here on the replay. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing your energy with me and with this group. And thank you for your work in this world that you're committed to spread, spreading light, to spreading truth. You're committed to activating the love inside women and men around the planet. You're activated to make this world a better place to live in because we see the pain and we see the suffering that's happening on this planet. And we're not dwelling on it, but we're seeing it and then allowing it to drive us forward to allow us to not be tempted to go into the safe route of, you know, just getting a job or working for the man or something. But we're allowing those crises that this planet is experiencing right now to motivate us to step forward, that the time is now, that there is no more time to doubt ourselves. There's no more time to hide. There's no more time to feel like we're not good enough because we are. And so my intention for this session for us is to ignite you know, even deeper, that drive to go forward, to do that thing that's been on your mind that you've been too afraid to do, or to jump into the deep water. Go for it. Okay. So hello, hello, Rachel. Hello, Sahara. Yay. Amazing. Okay. Awesome. So yeah, feel free to chime in at any point. Um, I love when these are like a little bit interactive. So please feel free to share. Please feel free to ask questions, to express your opinion. And I'll try to get to them all during the live. And if I miss something or if you're on the replay, then I will definitely respond to everything soon, <laughs> eventually. Okay. So your business as a temple. So what the rest of this session is going to look like. So we're at, yeah, we have 40 more minutes and I'm going to try to go until eight o'clock exactly, like not after to respect all of our time. So this realization about my business as a temple um, came from one of my beautiful teachers and mentors, Beth Catherine. Um, and I have worked with it over the last year and have really grounded in this idea and understanding. And it's helped me so much to feel that my business is really legit <laughs> and that it's not something that I'm making up um, because sometimes I do feel that way, to be honest. And uh, to feel, to really ground into what am I really doing? What am I here for? And who am I welcoming in to work with me? And by getting clear on that, those things in a five dimensional business temple, I've seen my work get more and more clear. And I've seen um, myself attract, you know, the, those soulmate clients even more deeply. And how amazing is it if you, how many of you that are here on live or replay already are running your sacred business? And how many of you are like right at the beginning and just starting. So if you're already running, you can say like, I'm already, I'm already on the way. And if you're just starting, you can say like, just starting. So if you are already on the way, then you have probably worked with clients that you don't love working with. And these are not soulmate clients. Soulmate clients are people that you absolutely love working with that let you up that yes, maybe it's challenging to work with them, or maybe you have challenging moments that push you to grow. And that's a good thing, um, but it's not like only challenge. You know, it's interesting, it's exciting, it's dynamic. It's something that you feel that really uplifts you. So this is what your soulmate clients are. And as you get clearer and clearer in your business temple, you will start attracting those soulmate clients that really match up to 
your own growth and expansion and ease and bliss. So it doesn't have to be hard. Okay. It doesn't have to be triggering for everybody. And this is a lesson that I've learned, you know, the hard way. It doesn't need to be like that. Shani, Shani says running, but juggling with work. Rachel says it's in planning. Sahara, I just keep syncing with you. My business is alive, trying to go to next level. Yes, Sahara, we're so synced. <laughs> um, yeah, so Shani, maybe you're, you are ready to take that next step and like release work. Cause, and that's interesting that you say like juggling my sacred business with work because it is your work, right? But maybe you don't see it as work because you see it as like play play. And that's a, a mindset shift that we can make as well that actually our sacred business is our work and it's important. It's not just play play compared to like our job. Um, but maybe you're totally happy with your job and that's another, that's another thing. Um, and Rachel says it's in planning. Ooh, I'm excited for you, darling. Yeah, so Shani, so your next step is to really, really establish your business temple so that you can start mentally letting go of your job so that you can step fully into that. And you totally can. Um, okay. And yes, yeah, Sahara, you're growing and uh, expanding yourself. And it's time to jump off that cliff, girl. All right. So we are priestesses. <laughs> Let's just get it. A priestess is somebody who's in service of the divine. So we are as awakened women stepping into sharing our soul gifts with the world. We are The only thing that truly satisfies us is to share the divine will on the planet. That's the only thing that truly satisfies us. So whether that's in a deep pleasure moment with a friend or with a lover, whether that's in a deep pleasure moment with, you know, an amazing session with an amazing client or an amazing session with a group or an amazing Facebook live or an amazing pose that you just did that's like just totally lighting up all of your cells. Like this is you being in service of the divine. Okay, so thousands of years ago before like the Roman empire took over, um, there used to be all across the planet priestess temples. And these were the temples who would literally be spreading the divine will to the planet. So there were many different roles in these priestess temples, such as, you know, the sacred sexuality uh, workers who would initiate women and men into sexuality. Um, there were, you know, people teaching yoga and meditation or movement, sacred dance, um, breathing, different techniques to really connect us to our, our purpose and feeling like we truly belong here on the planet. That was the mission of the priestess temples to show humanity how we are actually uh, gods and goddesses in a human form and that we can create miracles every day. And because we're, you know, the, the Romans came and kind of destroyed the temples and, and there was not only the Romans, there were different civilizations that came and, and destroyed these temples. Um, because it was a threat to the control um, or, or those in power. Like if everybody knows their power, then there can't be people in control. So we had these golden ages throughout, the, throughout history. There were six or seven of them where there, the temples were alive, where the people were really knowing that they were divine and had powers of miracles. And, you know, some, some believe that it's reptilians that came and kind of hijacked the human DNA. Uh, some people believe that, you know, people just forgot and they were searching for power and feeling good outside of themselves and forgot that inside is really where we feel satisfied where we achieve and connect to the divine and bliss and miracles 
But for whatever reason, you know, these temples were destroyed and we went into the dark ages and we've been in a dark age for the last few thousand years. And now we're heading into the next golden age. And that's why there's so many of us that are waking up to, to realizing that we are the creators of miracles from within and we're being activated to share that with other humans so that we can help wake up humanity. Now, you're going to have a different gift. You're each going to have a unique um, approach for which you are sent here to awaken humanity. It might be through movement. It might be through coaching. It might be through song. It might be through massage, touch. Um, it might be through acupuncture, science you know, different sciences, even lawyers and doctors and, you know, teachers and schools are light workers. So we don't have the ancient temples that were there, you know, back in the day, but we do actually have our own temples. Okay. Cause we are the priestesses now. And our, so it used to be that we, they would have these temples and people would have to go through the trainings. Okay. So on the out, like they would do missionary work where they would send uh, the priestesses and priests out into the public to share what is going on inside the temple with the public. Okay. So this is like you basically going out there and telling people what you do. Okay, that is like what the priestesses used to do, going outside the temple and ex explaining and sharing the message of the temple with the greater public for free. Okay, and then the people that were interested and excited would then like come to visit the temple. And maybe they would do, they would come to like a public gathering or a party that the temple was having or some kind of ceremony where the greater community was invited. And then if a person came to that ceremony and they felt really, really drawn to this temple, then they would inquire about going through a deeper training and initiation with that temple. So, so then the person who is interested in the training would have to give some sort of sacrifice or some sort of um, exchange for being able to go deeper into the temple. So that sacrifice might've been le releasing, you know, um, their attachments to, you know, a job that they had, okay? Which maybe resonates with, with some people here. Um, it might have been releasing fears that they were holding that that, and that, that was what was, was required of them in order to step deeper into the temple and receive the initiations and the trainings of that specific temple could have been the temple of the Magdalena, could have been the temple of Isis or the Hathor star nation, could have been the temple of, you know, um, ancient Tibet, uh, ancient China, uh, Kuan Yin, you know, many different lineages from all over the world had this similar template. So nowadays, because we're in the modern age, we work with exchange of also the fears and also willingness to step up into, you know, your own limitations, which if you are running a business and you bring people deeper into your temple, which we'll, we'll understand what that means in a moment, then you also need to make sure that they are willing to release the limiting beliefs that you are helping, that you're working with them on. You know, so that's part of their initiation as well. But for us in the modern day, as a modern day priestess in our modern day temples, we work with money exchange. Okay, so that's another thing that as people come deeper into your temple, they're going to need to pay a deeper price in order to receive those initiations, those transformations from your temple. Okay. So this is what priestesses did. And the ones that went really, really deep into the center, they really had to give a lot to go into that deep initiation. They had to like give up their identity. They had to give up 
you know, their, their crutches, their kryptonite. They had to give up the things that were holding them back from being fully united with the divine. And in our temples, as people go closer to the center, they pay a higher price and they also need to commit to giving up certain layers or levels of their ego identity to go through a training with a priestess like yourself. It's really, really powerful. And it's just really nice to just take a moment to reflect on that and how powerful that could be. That, you know, you're only willing to accept people into your temple that are willing to pay and willing to release what is holding them back from living the life of satisfaction and fulfillment. So in our modern day temples, it might look like this, okay? It might look like that you're the, the missionary part of your temple is you, you know, talking about your business, you figuring out your main, um, you know, branding, your messaging, and you sharing that messaging with groups and flyers and posters in Facebook groups, in Instagram, um, you sending messages, you know, you, what, however you do outreach, like your public outreach, this is what the priestesses would do so that they could let the public know what's happening inside the temple. And then for those that are interested in, in going, you know, coming to visit the temple, then you have something to offer them that's free. Okay. So, or it could be a really, really small fee. But that could be something. So for me, the outside, outside of my temple is this Facebook group. And it's also um, whenever I share in other Facebook groups. And also it's my Instagram and it's my email list. So then something like this, this is a live session that you are doing with me right now that you need to commit an hour of your time to be able to really receive what I'm offering here. So there's an exchange happening. Even though I'm not directly receiving from you, I am receiving an hour of your focused time. And that's the only way that you can really receive what I'm offering. So it's going a layer deeper. It's coming to the courtyard of my temple. Okay. And then the next layer might be a, a lower pay, a paying item. Like maybe you come to a yoga class with me, or maybe you want to sign up for my one of my workshops or a paid moon circle that I do sometimes, or um, something like that. Then if you go deeper into my temple, you might join um, like a two month program that I offer, which I don't have one right now. <laughs> but if I did, I might do a two month program on abundance, on uh, connecting to the diamond light and, and rewiring your thoughts around abundance. Or I might do a two month program on connecting to your guides and your angels. And then going deeper and deeper into my temples might be my YTT, my 200 teacher training. And then even deeper might be my sacred business codes program. And then even deeper might be one-on-one -on -one deep dive work with me. And that is the closest that you can get to my heart and my initiations and my teachings that I have for you. So you can think about, I just used myself as an example. You can use yourself. You can do the same thing with yourself. And think about those layers of your business. And that center chamber is the one where your soul codes are really coming through to. So all the other layers of your temple are actually informed by the energy of the central chamber. So when you want to connect to your temple, you can take a journey into the center chamber of your temple and receive the information, receive the messaging that you want to put out there, the kind of words that you use uh, to explain what your business is, the branding colors and symbols are going to be in there. And they might change, you know, when you, when you look at it, it might look different. And so that's why it's also really important to check in with your business temple regularly and commune with it. And especially in those times when you're wanting to grow or you're wanting to launch something that's 
bigger or more intense than you've ever launched before, it's really important to get grounded in your business temple space. So spending time in there and imagining yourself inviting people in for your offer or asking yourself, what is it that I want to offer right now? And what might happen when you start inviting people in for your offer is that they might, you might start feeling anxious or you might start feeling fears. You might start feeling doubt or guilt or whatever other feelings come up. And this is because this is the templates that you are running and your business temple knows because nothing, you can't escape yourself. (laughs) Your business temple and everything that you're running through your system is being run through your whole field. So if you're holding on to guilt, doubt, uh, fears, then that's all going to also come through your branding, through your messaging, through your, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be felt. And for those that are less sensitive, they might not feel it. And especially if it's something small and you don't need to be worried about it because we're all human. So we all have those doubts, those fears, but what we can do is work with our business temple to transmute those doubts and those fears into expanding into our next superpower. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. Shani says, I see it as work. Rachel says, part of my thing is that I love my job, but I'm a nurse. I know I can heal in other ways. Yes, Rachel. And tapping into what is your healing and what really lights you up besides that. And you, you do, you're a healer. And, um, so what I would suggest for you just starting out and unsure if it is, um, what you want, then start telling people what you do and offering free sessions and, you know, start sending the messengers out there, um, to tell people what you're doing. And oftentimes our business can be expanded and grown through that feedback loop that we get from other people. So what it, working with the 5D, working with our business template, nothing is ever like solid and final and that's forever. Okay. So we can think about that when we're in the beginning of our business. And we can also think about that when we're in, you know, a big next step in our business is that either way, um, our, our template is going to be changing all the time because we're living, we're alive and we're growing and we're learning and we're in a feedback system. So we can pick up what is needed or what is wanted. And then we can run it through our system and decide whether or not we want to, whether or not that feels aligned or not. Okay. Rebecca said, makes so much sense. Amazing. I'm so happy you're with, you're with me. And that, um, I just want to check the time. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else? I'm just going to check my notes for a moment. See if there's anything else that I wanted to say about this today. Okay. So the final thing that I just want to say is that you can tap into your branding, to your marketing, to your messaging, and to your spirit team. And I've been talking about this a lot in my posts and stuff lately, so maybe you've tapped into it. But another part about being a woman entrepreneur in this world where we're literally spreading the miraculous nature of human beings to the planet we have a lot of help. (laughs) So we have the 12 angels and archangel, uh, the 12 archangels and the archaea, which are the feminine uh, parts. So like Archangel Michael, his feminine is Michaela or the archangel of faith. Um, Uriel uh, is Uriela, uh, also the archangel of grace. So you have 
actually 24 angels and probably many more as well. Um, and we have the ascended masters of the divine feminine. We have the descent ascended masters of the divine and masculine. We have the fairies, we have the animals, we have the elementals. Um, we have, oh my God, just so many beings. And really, I want to just share like in my business temple right now, what's really, really alive with me is the whale nation, um, which I mentioned in our meditation and the spirit of the horse, which brings personal power and endurance and just like wild joy. Um, I have Hathor, who's also about the voice and activating um, our DNA, like upgrading our DNA and helping us to um, like do things like, like upgrade our superpowers. Yeah. So those, I have some, a few more, but that's enough for now. So in our little journey that we're about to do together, um, we'll also tap into who is your spirit team, because what that can do is really help us to create programs and feel like we're not alone. And what's really cool is that when we do get to tap into these consciousnesses of different star nations and ascended masters and elementals and animals is that actually they really want their pictures and their names to be written and shown. So when you advertise for your programs or for your packages and you add just like a little icon or a little image of those beings that are in your temple, it amplifies the magic and the potency of your messaging. And it also helps you feel supported and like you're not alone in what you're doing. You're actually being guided to create your offerings and you're actually doing it as a team. You're not making it up out of nowhere. You're not, oh, my phone, I have a chart. Hold up. Sorry. So you're not making it up out of nowhere. You are actually supported by a team of beings that are here to help you with the coming golden age of humanity, where people once again wake up to the miraculous nature of their own being and the miraculous nature of the planet and that they step fully into co-creating, that we step fully into co-creating heaven on earth. And that initiation process means that you as the temple space holder needs to work through your demons as well. Your guilt, your doubts, your fears, all of those need to be transmuted through this process and your business will do that because, you know, talking about money, it's challenging until it's not challenging anymore because when it's not challenging anymore, it means that you've worked through that doubt and that fear and that you are stepping into resonance with money and abundance. For example, there's many other ways that we, that our business initiates us and helps us to clear. So as we're running our business, we can also when doubts, fears, things come up, we can say, oh, thank you. Yes, I receive. Thank you. I accept. And I am happy to discover another one of my blocks so that I can release it. Okay. Okay. Let me know if you have any questions or if this is resonating with you and we're going to um, set up for a meditation and journey. Aubrey says, I work with Metatron and Hermes, should learn more about the feminine beings too. I really recommend the Sophia code for that. That's really helpful. Okay, awesome. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get comfortable in our seat. And you can stretch your neck, stretch your shoulders again. And we're going to practice a little bit of the breath of fire 
to really sink in because we're not going to take heaps of time to go into our meditation. We're going to actually realize through this process that we can tap into this fairly quickly. And by doing um, a few quick, easy breaths, then uh, we can just dive right in. Okay. So if you want to, you can really like rock your pelvis with this. And if not, you can just kind of sit up. So we're going to inhale and take our chest and pelvis forward and exhale, rock it back. Inhale forward, exhale back. We're going to breathe through our mouth. So inhale, belly and chest, exhale. Keep going, pull it in, drop it out. 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 Pull it in, last one, drop it out. Pull it in, inhale, inhale, inhale. Open your chest and hold and breathe in even more air. Hold it in, shoulders back, chest open. Expand, expand, expand your heart. Feel the sacred geometrical grids around you and exhale, relax and allow, allow yourself to drop into the stillness. And noticing around you a beautiful sacred geometrical grid of golden light. Layers and layers of this beautiful moving living grid. And as you breathe you notice that that grid actually comes down into the crown of your head from all directions and then goes through your being, through your heart. And it comes out the heart and then goes down and comes in through your tailbone and back up to the heart and then out from the heart. So it's coming in from the tail and from the crown and it's going out from the heart. Beautiful double torus, sacred geometrical grids, templates, the codes that are running through your system. And imagine that beautiful field of golden light around you and just all you see is this golden light moving and breathing with you, running your codes, running your templates, running your desires and your beliefs. We'll just ask Archangel Michael to come in now and open up his wings in your field and flap his wings to clear, delete, transmute any guilt, doubt, fears that you are running in your grid that hold you back from taking that next step. And just allow yourself to surrender into the clearing power of Archangel Michael's wings. And you can declare out loud or in your heart, I am ready to release any low vibrational frequencies running in my field. I am ready to delete any codes of guilt, fear, Doubt that I am running. And I declare with my free will choice and my I am presence that guilt, doubt, and fear be released now from my field. And 
then allowing yourself to be carried to a, a place that feels home for you, to a place that feels good. Maybe a beach or a field or a mountain or a desert or somewhere in the cosmos. Just noticing yourself relaxing in your happy place. And then feeling Archangel Michael guide you and lift you with his wings. And you're being guided towards this beautiful temple up ahead. And you notice, you know this temple to be the temple of your sacred business. And as you and Archangel Michael approach the gates of your temple, Isis is there to greet you, the ancient Egyptian beloved priestess and goddess. And she looks you in the eye with her fierce love and tells you how happy she is to see you here, to see you ready to claim the next level of your business. And she opens the gate and tells you to enjoy exploring your business temple. And slowly and gently, you begin to explore your temple and you see the outside of your temple. your public offerings, your communities, your posts. Your free content, your free parties. And then allow yourself to go to the next layer of your temple. Noticing here is where you charge a little bit more money for small sessions or group classes or products that you sell or that you want to sell. And then going into the next layer of your temple, noticing deeper programs that are wanting to be birthed from you. Noticing the shapes and the colors in that layer. And now we're gonna go into the deepest chamber of your temple. So taking a deep breath and seeing a beautiful door that you know to be the entrance to your business temple. Central chamber. You slowly open those doors and step into the central chamber of your business temple. Maybe you notice a fire in the middle or a big crystal. Maybe there's a gatekeeper or an animal. Maybe you see symbols on the walls, shapes, colors, frequencies. And you notice also that your clothing has changed and that you're now dressed 
as the priestess of your temple. So just notice what you're wearing, maybe jewelry or fabrics. And maybe you notice any beings in your temple. Maybe you see an angel or a guide. And so you're just going to take another minute here to explore the central chamber of your business temple. Here in this space, we're gonna call in Archangel Michael if he's not already there to spread his wings and give a blessing to this space and use his wings to give you a wash to clear your energy field one more time of any guilt or doubt or fear that holds you back from stepping into the next level of your being of your business, of your offerings, of the amount of money that you ask for, of your own self-value and worth and self-love, of your ability to continue talking about what you're doing, of your ability to continue believing in yourself. He's amplifying that within you and clearing anything holding you back from feeling that way. And with a big thank you to Archangel Michael and a thank you to your business temple, knowing that you can come back here at any time and explore your branding, your colors, your pillars, your the different chambers within the inner chamber and your messaging and your offerings. All of the codes for all of those things are right here. You gently allow yourself to walk out through the door. And make your way slowly, slowly out of the temple. back to the place where you met Isis and she gives you a hug and a warm embrace and a fiery gaze that says, go do it. I got your back. And you make your way back to where you began Feeling yourself sitting here in this moment in time and space. And receiving the light of the moon. This full moon in Libra. To bless this experience. Mm -hmm. 
It is done, it is done, it is done. And gently wiggling your fingers, wiggling your toes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Coming back to presence here in this space. Hmm. Thank you for journeying me to your temple. Thank you for showing up in divine service to this planet. Thank you for being the way shower and the light worker that is so needed with your unique codes that are needed on this planet. Thank you for getting more and more accurate with how you wanna share your message and your energy. Thank you for getting to know yourself on a deeper and deeper level so that you can really show up as you're supposed to be, as you are, as it feels really good for you, because that's what you're supposed to do. And if you enjoyed this ceremony, I'd love to hear your um, reflections in the comments. What did you see? What did you hear? What did you connect to? What realization did you have? And if you connected and you'd like to go deeper and you'd like guidance and support in exploring this business temple and expressing these codes on all levels in your business, up-leveling your abundance, your prosperity, consciousness, and your ability to shine your light and make serious transformation in the lives of your clients and the people around you, then I invite you to check out my program, which begins on April 11th or 12th, maybe. It's called Sacred Business Codes. It's gonna be a group of women where we deep dive into this material, into operating your business from the 5D and bringing all those templates down here to the 3D to receive the abundance that you deserve and to to shine your light and grow your empire. So I'm gonna leave a link in the comments here for you to check out the material and to apply. And the application is just you applying for a one-on-one -on -one 30 minute call with me. It's non-obligatory, non-committal. And I'd love to speak to you and see if you might be a good fit for this program. It's a six month deep dive into the divine feminine and the divine masculine aspects of business and to really step up in your soul codes. Let me see if there's any comments. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you everyone for joining. Thank you for being here and I love you. And I'll see you on the other side. Big love. Bye. Thank you for joining. Oops. Bye. <laughs>